So that's what we got going on with my Pisces Sun Risings. Aries Sun Risings. Aries Sun Risings. Okay. So Aquarius house, 11th house lit up. 5th house is fully illuminated. All right. Now it's a trine. It's a trine to you right now, Aries. So you got the full moon trining you, got the sun in Aquarius, a uh, sextile on you. So you guys, I'm actually expecting y'all to be like quick, quick with it. Very quick response. Okay, cut off. Okay, you, yeah, you good, you good, you stay here. Oh, you cut off. Like I'm expecting that from Aries Sun Risings because y'all already have an urgent energy, and then this full moon and the sun is harmonizing with y'all right now. Okay, so when it comes into Aries under identifying, acknowledging what things is holding it back from its creative expression or being able to gain attention for something they're creatively invested to, you're gonna you're so sensitive to it towards it, it's not even funny. I already said sun in Aquarius in 11th house, a lot of Aries sun rises, a lot of y'all finna be manifest in situations where um, you know, the community and groups that y'all are part of in general. You're going to realize if it's expired or not. You're going to realize, you know, did I get what I was supposed to get from this group, this experience, this standard third, or is this, I need to continue to build here because this is where it's at right now. This is where it's at. That's going to be white and black. That's going to be white and black this season, Aries. It's not going to be the signs and feelings and emotions you get from this. If you go like a couple of days straight, a week straight, you're like, I ain't going to lie. I don't be liking how they... You know, this my my business partners or my group or this in this this church or this community or something. I don't be liking how they like make me feel uncomfortable where I'm at in life, my mentality and what I'm trying to grow into or work into. It just don't reflect there. It, that's gonna be a very vivid feeling and emotion. All right, and thought. So uh So that's what we got going on with that, Aries. It's going to be white and black there. So I don't want y'all overthinking and questioning the people that you're associating yourself around. You already got a, <laughs> you are already very um, discerning when it comes to who you associate yourself with because relationship energies already can feel, it's quick to feel like a burden for an Aries, right? So when Aries associate themselves with people who don't relate to their passions, the way they see things in some type of shape or form, it's already going to come off as a quick burden. So that is not what I'm worried about. But when we get into the full moon in the fifth house, now, Aries, your ego may have to be worked on in this space, all right? You might have to check your ego out in this space right now. It's the creative house. So when it comes into anything that's been suppressed from how you jump into a creative, a creative artistic bag or your aspirations to place things on the stage right now, not only do you have to see how your partnerships reflect that, you may also have to see how, you know, maybe you have people in the great support systems around the way, you know, in your space wanting to help you add on to things. But your ego and how you working on things, how you want to get things done, that'd be my issue with, you, with Aries at times. I mean, all the passion, all the durability, all the intention in the world. But when you tell Aries to be open towards working on something a new way, let God navigate you this way. You don't got to. I know you want to get it done that way, but I think God wants you to get it done this way. Be open to doing, doing something another way. Aries like, no, no, we're going to get the money this way. We're going to get the money this way. That's what we may have to tweak around this time. And you'll know you have to tweak that mentality, Aries Sunrises. Sometime this week, you run into a situation, somebody really get on your ass Wednesday, like, damn, so much potential, but you're so stubborn. You want to do this th this way. You want to do that that way. You don't let nobody help you. You feel so, you feel so, uh, uh, what's the word? You feel so vulnerable asking for help or receiving help. Ah, oh, Ash Wednesday. You don't need to run into all that right there, Aries Sun Rising. When God, you got these energies harmonizing with you. So you do need to be open to the word of God right now because you could easily be navigated into the right community, easily be navigated into the right resources, easily be navigated into the right mentality you need, you know, to help continue or jump into some type of creative process. Now, the fifth house also deal with the inner child, Aries Sun Rising. I think there's going to be moments during Aquarius season that the things that uplift the inner child. Right, maybe a pastime, certain things that you get into, you have to make sure these things aren't neglected because it helps you feel more lively connecting out in the world. And you may find yourself out in the world a lot. I told y'all, y'all need to be out in the world a lot during this season because so much opportunity for y'all in the 11th house right now. All right, so much opportunity in the 11th house right now. 
And people in the 11th house are going to want to see what's going on in your 5th house. So the better relationship you're building, what you're into creatively, and how you're healing the inner child. Ruby, what's going on? What's going on, Rubes? Okay? The more you're uh, har uh, honoring and nurturing that relationship with the inner child and what you got going on on the creative level, that's going to do numbers for you right now with you being able to be confident, you being able to, you know, express what is it that you're bringing into the 11th house. No. What is it you're bringing into the 11th house? And then also have a, more of a knowingness and more of a, into, more of a you know, clear intuition. Your, in, your intuitive abilities in general is going to be working a little bit better. Your awareness is going to be working a little bit better when you're starting to meet people during this season in your different spaces. And you're going to be able to understand, like, okay, God, me channeling this energy is helping this person to be attracted into my life for this, to help me build this, to help me understand that. All right? That's what we got going on with that right now, Aquarius. Uh, excuse me, Aries. Them A's. Them A's. Aries, sun rising. All right. Now, and and another thing, Aries. Like I said, like I said, you know, you you already a fire sign. Deal with expression. The fifth house dealing with expression. You got all your emotion, which is fully illuminated, which is at a peak right now, is in the fifth house. So expression in general, your reaction towards things when people either critiquing or you know, having some insight or guidance or whatever, seeing some details or something dealing with your expression or something around this time, that can be intense. So you kind of want to be in a, uh, you kind of, you have a lot of energies flowing through an expressive, uh, expression space. You kind of want to be uh, in more in a listening space. You can receive a lot. You can receive and digest a lot right now from the external realm in some type, shape, or form. And that could simply lead for fifth house activity to jump into the 11th house. You'd be more an example of something in the 11th house. All right? That's what we got going on with my Aries sun risings. Taurus sun risings. All right? One of the fixed signs. One of the fixed signs.